closer to our GMA cover story, shall we? Those new concerns about smart home technologies like thermostats, locks, and lights being used as tools of abuse. It is a story we first spotted in the New York Times. ABC's Ariel Reshef is here with more on this. Good morning, Ariel. Good morning to you, Cecilia. Good morning, everyone. This is truly disturbing. Imagine your thermostat kicking up to 100 degrees. Music suddenly blasting in your home. Your door locked remotely. These are just some of the new ways experts say domestic abusers are terrorizing victims. Everyday home objects are getting smarter by the minute. But now a New York Times investigation is sounding the alarm on a disturbing new trend. Smart tech being used to torment victims of domestic abuse. My abuser's goal is to try to tear my mind apart bit by bit by bit and strip away my spirit, my livelihood. This woman, who told us to refer to her as Martha, chose to speak about her alleged abuse from her ex-boyfriend under the condition of being shown in shadow. Her voice has also been altered. The intellectual fatigue is so difficult to convey, not knowing which phone to check voicemail from, not knowing if my business accounts are private or not. Stories like Martha's are not uncommon, according to Ruth Patrick, who runs a domestic violence program in Silicon Valley. I had one lady whose uh, smoke detectors had hidden cameras in them. Uh, another lady had um, electronic uh, locks on her door and she was literally a, a prisoner in her own home. They can use these devices now to harass the other individual, whether it's changing the temperature, if it's hot outside, making sure that the air conditioner is not working, or turning the lights on and off, or the TV, changing the channel. To show how harassment like this can happen, digital forensic expert Brian Hill drove a few miles from his home and then tried to turn on the smart lights in his living room. With the click of a button, turn the lights on, turn the lights off. Hill, who has worked with victims of domestic abuse in the past, says there are simple steps you can take to protect yourself and your home. Log into their accounts and reset their passwords. Logging into their wireless router and resetting that as well. And then manually resetting all of the devices and we reached out to the organization that represents the U.S. wireless communications industry but did not hear back. But Cecilia, our forensic expert says there is one more very important thing you can do. Reset those security questions like what's your mother's maiden name to someone else's information so a potential abuser can't answer those questions. So invaluable, those tips, Ariel. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.